Hello everybody. Today is Friday, March 29th. Today is the day we remember the day this happened. So, Sunday, which is Easter Sunday, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the King. Some people are offended by that. I don't standing strong. I'm standing by my Lord, shining the light, learning every day, even at this, this age. Nine days, 14 hours to the great eclipse. It's going to be a difficult video. Those newcomers, I do this video raw, like I mentioned before. I just, when I get an inspiration, when I get an insight, dream, vision, thoughts, you name it, whatever you want to categorize it as, I just put it out don't have no fancy editing no have no fancy graphic this is raw it's looking at the comet so today i'm going to talk about the comet and the eclipse merging both of them merging all all this is merged to one big picture that i'm providing so bear with me some of this might not make no sense whatsoever but i'm letting the holy spirit the holy spirit speak through me so this is one of these videos that's heavy duty, the old man is teaching. He's a teacher, he got his teacher hat on. And what I'm gonna point out are nuggets that I see from as a comet watch, comet power of the constellation in the night sky. How this ties in with the eclipse, it'll become clear to many of you, or a few of you, that are what's the word, chosen to see them, or awaken, seers of the light. I can't find the palabra. I can't find the word, but uh, looking at the constellation, we have this right. I'm going to focus on Aries and Comet 12P, the angel. approaching the star or before I get there. So the star, I mean the star, we got Comet 12P, those moving into Haman. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'll get a pronunciation, correct pronunciation. So it's approaching the brightest star in Aries, the Alpha star, Alpha of that constellation. Let's move forward. This is this is heavy duty from the spirit. I don't care. The time don't mean nothing. I'm going to approach this. Okay, let's get the pro proper pronunciation. Hamal. 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 Okay, that's the star. It's approaching. This is the way I feel. Like I got a damn bird and I got a flood of information pouring out spiritually. There's something here. Comet is showing me something special. And I'm going to tie this in as best as I can. We're all getting messages, dreams, visions, revelation, mucha palabra, mucho, mucho definitions of, of that term. I could keep adding words, but I'm being simple as I can. We're being awakened. The light is shining, the shoes. So today we're getting a tremendous influx of light from the, the Schumann resident on the 29th. Today, on, I don't want to say the word Good Friday because I don't believe in, in the Good Friday. I believe in this day, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, the King. And I know that's going to tick off a lot of people because they're being revealed for what they are. So we have this coming in on the same day. We got the sun. We had another X-Class flare, CME, from the sun Friday, yesterday. We're getting beautiful, marvelous images in, this, in the sky. This is the latest. 329 today take it all the way to the present the latest the latest that that's out okay this one's out 1952 east almost eight o'clock eastern standard time and right now the time is 10 10 30. okay haman aries constant is pronounced this alpha Orion. alpha Orion. alpha Orion. that's where it's heading that's where it'll be pinpoint on easter sunday alpha why is this constellation so important? Has so much history. Too much history that I could put down in one video. It's impossible. I'll spend hours and hours, days and days, and I'll be this I I'll be lucky to reach this much. So I'm doing this. I'm jumping, I'm jumping, I'm jumping. The Holy Spirit is speaking through me. And I like, like I said, again, grandpa is doing the best the mejor que he puede ser. The best he could now alphas alpha atreides alpha let's just call it let's just call it it has a lot of history star facts and it'll give you some information on this on this constellation now if we go to constellation of words on aries right here it also has a lot of information and i'm not going by the greeks the golden 
pretty s story. I go back to Enoch. Enoch, when he basically named the 48 constellation. Now, the Aries symbol, and there's a lot of things about it, represents the spiral horn of a ram. The Hebrews word for a ram's horn was shofar, a shofar. And it has a lot of connection with the Hebrews and the Christians connect a lot. But what is a shofar? A shofar... <laughs> This is a ram horn. Okay. And we know this is significant when the shofar is blown. So on Easter Sunday, it'll be in that Haman, which the ancient interpretation, there's so many interpretations. Back 2000 BC to 100 BC, the time of the age of Eric. We're in the age now of Pisces, where the equinox used to be during the time of uh, Daniel, and Daniel is important because I'm going to bring him up too because his connection with the Magi, those that study the stars that had the knowledge. There were so many about importance of the equinox. That's the beginning of spring. They, our tradition had some, something to say about that. So I covered briefly on the constellation of words, the Hebrew of the Shofar, the importance of the Shofar, the constellation, Aries, the Ram, the symbol, the horn, Alpha, literally means Alpha. Aries has a lot of, and that's not touching the recent archaeological discoveries they made of Aries. Now, this video put out a year ago how ancient astronomy is missing key to understanding Christian origin. Let's take it to 333. The Gospels of Matthew and Luke paint astrolog astrological pictures of this event. All the planetary lights occupy only a menorah's width of sky around the vernal equinox. Magi had to look east to see the sign, but the constellation Aries pointed Magi west toward the child's birth in Judea. Some interesting related symbols have emerged from the discovery of two adjacent Christian tombs in Talpiot, just outside Jerusalem. People call one Jesus' family tomb, the other the resurrection tomb. The relative position of the advanced moon now listen, listen to this shows how to recognize that the moon will cover Jupiter. The bottom image of a chevron and uh, and circle marks the entrance of the Jesus family tomb, resembling a moon covering Jupiter. An identical symbol also appears on the back of an ossuary identified by the Catholic Church belonging to Simon of Cyrene, the man who helped Jesus carry the cross to Calgary. The image above the, t the above the moon comes from the resurrection tomb, the tomb of a rich landowner, the very earliest symbolic reference to the sign of Jonah. This symbol represents a great fish swallowing a stick figure man. Lest there be any doubt who the artist meant, the body of the man uh, comprises Hebrew letters that spell out the name Jonah. Jonah. The symbol at the very top. There's more on this video here, right here provides a lot of information about the recent disco archaeological discovery and it points to Jonah. Now I'm throwing a lot of pieces out here, there, here, there, nuggets. You're more than welcome to pursue it or just poo poo it, speaking the truth. Because it's time now the light is shining from the Christ light is shining through us. It's shining towards us. Accept it. There's people out there that I'm following that I just been recently now this gentleman I was just basically introduced not too long ago. That, that is, is the light, light that, that you, you are emitting, emitting from, from you right, right now. now. So, so it's, it's, it's almost like, you know, you know this, this light is coming in, in. Our, our DNA, DNA is picking it up. Yes. And now, and now yes. right, Tesla, Nikola Tesla, Tesla said, said we are the receiver. Exactly. We're the broadcast as well. And we're getting the light right so now. We receive the light of Christ Amen. into our DNA receptors. He speaks a lot of truth. You want a hardcore teacher? Right here. Highly recommend it. Full of energy, full of insights, full of knowledge, full of the Holy Spirit. So there's a link right there. Highly recommend it. Check them out. God bless them. Now, getting to Aries. This site right here. It's Aries Star Lords. This just jump. Okay, in the Hebrew, it was Aries is considered the lamb of the world. The lamb. Other cultures refer to it as the lamb. The Arabians, the lamb. Haman, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. You got to understand Daniel was in Persia. The knowledge that Enoch about the constellation was before the great flood, Noah, apparently it got distorted. But Daniel in, in Iraq, Babylon, that empire, he, after he proved the writing on the walls and everything else, and the king gave him favor and he became, he took the, the group 
the Magi, which basically were spreading distorted, false, in other words, information. Daniel basically took over that group and he prophesied about Christ. How many prophecies did he make? They say, what, over 700 prophecies? And he was on target. So he basically was a teacher of the Magi's. We're talking like, what, 500 B.C. or 600 B.C., some, somewhere in that ballpark. So this, all this refers to the Lamb. Where did the three Magi's follow? Or did they know where to go? So there's a lot of Islamic, a lot of cultures that refers to this as the Lamb, the horn, between the horn, the Safar, the, the, the Alpha Star, Alpha Star on Easter Sunday. Alpha and Omega. Now, see, I'm going to hold off on this celebration because already I see I'm, I just dropped from 501 to 500. I don't want to put this out yet. Please subscribe. Get me, give me some cushion room. I'll keep doing what I'm, my mission, Lord's work. And I had good news today from the doctor regarding my right toe, my right foot, looking at amputation. The latest, and it's a miracle, a miracle. It, it looks like it's, it's recover. No, it's recovering. It's healing. Somebody out there is praying for me. And I thank you. In Jesus' name, I thank you. There's two of us. He is present. My eye is a different story. This right here, my left eye, I could just, it's blur. That's, that's the next. I'm praying. I'm doing, praying the water. I'm, I'm doing, I could actually use some more prayers on that if, if you can, please. Apparently, you have the gift and help me continue doing this mission that I, that I was put here to do. There's a lot of us. You got to get out there and shine the lighthouse. You got to be like that big picture. I have a big picture of a lighthouse shining in the middle of a storm. Darkness all around. That one lighthouse and boats that are lost out there see that one light and they're gravitated to it or they're saved. And you have to be the lighthouse because let me tell you something. There's tests going on. God always throws tests to see if we're worthy, like Lot, like Sodom and Gomorrah, like this, like that, like this. So many stories. I mean, the story that I think about is Samson right off the bat. You're going to be attacked. I'm attacked. And don't be ashamed. Say it. Christ is king. Oh, wait a minute. Before you go, before I cut this off. Okay, I'll leave you with this. This article here that I did with the video, the sign about the supernova, move over solar eclipse. Scientists predict a once-in-a-lifetime no supernova explosion in the coming months. A nova. That's like the sky just... There, here's the nugget. Guess where the nova might happen in any moment? Remember, there's 88 constellations now. The Corona Borealis. The crown. I have a video. If you look at my a playlist, look down. I have a video. Corona Borealis. The crown. Why do you think the serpent is looking up at it? Like, please don't light up. That's the crown. Now, they're expecting that at the same time as the eclipse at, during the April or May or June that this no supernova will occur. You know the shock waves? Oh, they said, well, supernovas happened before. Of course they happened before. I mean, I covered that too. Aquilus, the eagle. I mean, I got, I got videos on supernovas, so I know about supernovas. But it's just coincidence. No, it's no coincidence anymore. That's not a word. Signs. Revelations. This is revelation I'm getting. The crown is going to be lit up in the sky. And who represents the crown? The king. And who's king? Christ is king. And if those people don't like it, tough, tough. That's probably why I'm going to hold off on the 500 subscribers. It's nice to pass over it. Eh, if I go back down to 10 subscribers again, well, so be it. The truth is tough. When you get old, crossed over, and you're brought back, and you cross over, and then you're brought back, I mean, you speak the truth. If they can't see the truth, they're blinded to the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. Why am I going to come out here and, and just make all this up? All Everything that I've provided is facts. The interpretation, the wording, the terminology, the language, the palabra, this, that, this, that. My, uh, well, he's not using sophisticated. He, you could tell he doesn't have a college education. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're all getting the message. We all need to work together. Remember the, cons the, the what video was? I think it was a video ago or two videos ago. When a comet is here, there'll be religious differences. 
exposed in the constellation pisces yeah pisces i got so many videos now 40 46 on the comet so yeah these are signs in your in our face i mean this is what i bring to the table there's so many others out there bringing their nuggets to the table how is it possible people mi gente como se puede ser que todo esto en la misma vez que happen que puede pasar how is it possible all this i mean if it were just me oh there goes the crazy old man he's uh, he's at it again how is it possible how is it possible that all of us chosen the light is shining through your spirit we're all coming up with these visions and dreams and revelations pieces that i don't know i i heard for the first time. i'm listening i'm watching you i'm learning i'm learning just like you the eclipse the the signs and the stars the comet the constellations the history the mythology of the stars that's why i come in and it's matching with what you're saying everything's coming to a uh, to uh i can't find the word explosion of the truth the explosion of the light good will become good and bad will become bad er we're separating people we're merging we're taking we're going this way while they go that way we're separating and we're going to be separated pretty soon in my opinion so you need to be ready you need no, you need to be ready like right now and there's a lot of brothers and sisters out there that i want to promote it'll be like a, i'll be here for another hour they know who they are keep shining the light I'm watching. I'm learning. Together, we're learning. And God bless you. Yep. Gracias. And it's a holy week. It's a holy week. Let Father out. Thank you. And subscribe so I can get so I can post that celebration video. Good night. Oh, you see the flashes? I'm getting surges again. <laughs> God, angels protect me, please. Oh, let me sign off. Bye-bye.